can you talk just generally about the progress um, since yesterday, what we know additionally or where we're at? Well, the uh, National Transportation uh, Safety Board uh, got in last night. They were on the ground met with uh, Jimmy Jadet from Homeland Security uh, 7 o'clock this morning. Uh, they'll be out there on the scene right now uh, looking at the, uh, what happened with the pipe. In my opinion, it will probably be uh, several days, if not weeks, before they can give us uh, the calls that will cause the explosion. Uh, it was a huge rip in the 20-inch uh, line up there, and uh, so we got the experts right now in working with our state officials. Uh, trying to determine the, the actual cause. I, I can also say, as far, as far as the progress, uh, we had estimated it would be late afternoon or early evening day before Interstate 77 would be uh, open. Uh, before 9 o'clock this morning, all four lanes were open. And uh, once again, the roads are striped, the guardrails are up, and uh, yeah, the, the, the public is traveling once again. So we, we have, uh, first of all, our Public Service Commission is responsible for the lives, but the National uh, Transportation Safety Board really is the uh, uh, group at the federal level that uh, looks at the safety of lives and so forth. I think with this explosion yesterday, we'll see a lot more inspections and, and testing going on to make sure that the hundreds of miles of pipelines that we have in West Virginia are safe uh, for our people. There's about 10 people out there this morning from NTSB uh, that have started the investigation. Uh, they will hold a meeting tonight with all the officials involved in the response to get information from them. And they'll be here several days to gather in additional information and interview witnesses uh, just to see what happens. The, the gas companies do routine inspections on these pipelines with technology uh, such as infrared cameras that can detect leaks. Uh, they have devices that go through the pipes to inspect the pipes. So, uh, you know, we're all interested to see what happens so that we can make sure something like that doesn't happen again. I don't know that we can say enough about what happened with the first responder community yesterday. As the governor said, it was a tremendous effort by everyone involved. Uh, the initial calls, everyone thought that a nursing home had blown up. Uh, there were numerous fire departments from Kanawha County, ambulances from neighboring counties, uh, state police, the Kanawha County Sheriff's Department, Charleston City Police and Fire. Uh, there was a tremendous amount of coordination that went on just to get the interstate shut down as quickly as it was to protect people from getting into that hazardous situation. So it was a tremendous unified effort by everyone involved, and I think that's partly because of all the events that we've had. Everyone works very well together, and uh, you know what we do here is a model for other states to follow. Absolutely. Yeah, let me just close by saying that, as Jimmy said, you know, because we have worked so much together from highways, from the state fire marshal's office, uh, uh, Homeland Security, you know, everyone works great together. We have now the communication systems where we can immediately, uh, in yesterday's case, you know, talk from, from Parkersburg back to, to Charleston or whatever, you know, and let ev everyone know what's going on. So it's not only state police talking to state police, but state police talking to fire departments, to local police, to emergency officials and so forth. And that's one of the reasons yesterday things were so smoothly because we are all working together as one unit when we have a situation such as we faced yesterday as well as during the storms and the blizzards that we faced this year. Thank you.